Hello everybody, another scrapping video. Recently I was given uh, this at, uh, by a customer where I was and uh, I love my job, I keep getting uh, all kinds of stuff and uh, he said uh, the thing isn't worth squat so feel free to scrap it out and take out whatever you need. I'm talking about this, even came with the manual, a reel-to-reel uh, -reel, uh, recorder and a portable version even. I've uh, looked uh, at eBay and uh, the Dutch version called the uh, Marktplatz, which, uh, well, doesn't actually uh, sell any. Uh, I've seen a few on eBay. Yeah, it, with any luck, I might be able to get like 20, 25, 30 bucks for it. Maybe 50 if someone really, really wants it. That's just too much hassle for me. Like I uh, always say, I am not in this for the money. I only want metals for melting to make cool projects. And you're along for the ride. So, let's see here. Oh, look, that opened just like that. Well, I kind of loosened it already. That's plastic. Away. So let's see here. Well, the manual that's paper. Comes with another box. I think this has the microphone in it. Yep. More plastic. Well, oh, cable, filter, microphone. Look at that later. More plastic. Now I already took a sneak peek at some of the screws and they are all flat heads. Oh, except for these ones apparently. <laughs> Need to look better. So, yeah, cool device, still has tape on it. I am not going to bother with any of it other than just taking it out. I think the Plating is aluminium, so that's interesting. Uh, oh, look, just falls right off. You can tell I don't have much experience with stuff like this, because even when I was a kid, I'm 40 now, uh, when I was a kid, uh, these were kind of obsolete already, because everybody was using the cassette tapes, and they were this big, so a lot handier. Um, hmm, that comes off easy. There we go. No idea if this ribbon uh, stuff has any interesting... Uh, I know it's like magnetic recording, but there's probably not nothing in there to get out. If anyone uh, knows of uh, uh, a way to get anything interesting out of this, leave a comment. No, I guess not. Right, so let's uh, put this uh, aside for later. All right. Already put the flat bit on there. So I saw flat head screws. Plastic. All right, now we're getting to the interesting part. Let me take you on a ride here. That looks good. Mmm, copper. And this looks like cast aluminium. Uh, got some wiring going. This old stuff is uh, mainly mechanical. Uh, old huge capacitor. The plating on this thing might be zinc. I know I had a feeling uh, about zinc uh, recently that uh, didn't come out uh, well. So I'm gonna. Be very careful with that from now on. Some uh, aluminium heat sinks in there. Um, circuit board with all kinds of old stuff on it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the details when uh, that come, when that all comes out. Just hope my camera will 
stay on the tripod here yeah all right so all of these are flathead screws they have a little red blob of paint on them probably uh, to avoid uh, tampering with and uh, warranty and stuff i'm assuming the warranty has expired kind of by now cool little counter I think this might be cast aluminium. There's a bit of copper here. We'll take that apart in detail later. Oh. Screws are yellowish in color, but are not brass because they are magnetic. Too bad. Let's get a pair of snips. More cast aluminium. Maybe Zamak. This is quite heavy. And uh, it's all greyish, so it could be Zamak. Zamak is uh, dirt cheap. Still is. Because it's basically uh, just uh, a bunch of dumped together zinc and aluminium. Let's see what else we got. Still stuck here. Oh, no it's not. Look at that. This here is brass. Stuff rotating, that looks like aluminium. More cast aluminium, this will be steel plating and of course copper. Different types of colors of coating, probably to make sure they know which wire to use. Red one or the orange one. And yeah, this I will take apart in detail later. First bit of wire. Where's my box for wires? I'll just dump it on the ground here. Place has been cleaned up a bit, so let's make another mess. Yes, there we go. These are some copper plated contacts. And these bits, these little blobs. They make contact. They apparently might be uh, silver or palladium, I have heard. Now, that's not something I am into because, well, I need a hell of a lot if I'm going to be um, making anything out of silver. But if you're into uh, refining metals uh, for money, then uh, sometimes these bits, uh, these, these little uh, contacts might be silver or palladium. I'm keeping them separate for now. Um, if I get a big bundle of them uh, I might, and, and find a, a buyer, then I might sell them for uh, I don't know, a couple of bucks if I get uh, enough of them. For now, I'll just uh, uh, toss them aside and uh, take out the, just snip off the copper bits and uh, toss them in with the copper. Aha, uh -huh. fuses. Oh, it comes with a couple of spare fuses even. Like I said, I like to keep these because you never know when they might come in handy. How do you get these out? Slide them out. Right. And more plastic.
No idea what that is. Let's see. Bound to be more spots that attaches everything. I'm guessing most of this is going to be scrap iron. I'm just gonna cut these bits here. Couple of more screws in here. Hope we can reach them. No, I can't. Let me get a manual screwdriver. What's in there? Good. I think this might be aluminium plating on here. Yes, definitely aluminium. First piece. Hmm. On the floor. I'll uh, bundle everything I got out in the uh, neat uh, piles and uh, show you that at the end. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, there we go. Well, most of this is all plastic. Tiny spring in here. And again, this front plate and this bit is uh, stuck on a thin aluminium sheet. We'll get that off later. Gizmos and gadgets. Oh, look at that. It's a RPM needle or something. Tiny wires. Oh, it's I thought it was a lead. It's not even a lead, it's a tiny bulb. Leads were probably not around back then. Or at least not common. Probably too expensive. 
So the needle is uh, probably aluminium. There's a small winding of copper in there. I'll micro scrap that out later. Cool little thing though. So far there's not uh, that much interesting uh, going on in here. Other than a lot of plastic and steel. I do see some brass bits here. These uh, rods are brass and some of these uh, I think contacts or, or pins that are used to hold uh, everything together. Some of these bits might be brass. And tiny wires. This I'll check out later. Let's continue with this. Schmutzy plastic. Rubber bands. These can be handy for some different purposes. So I uh, tend to keep these. You don't find them in many uh, uh, appliances, but uh, sometimes, like uh, older printers, might have them. Or um, other uh, devices with a lot of mechanical parts. So I have a couple of these in different uh, sizes and thicknesses. Can be handy for whatever purpose. I uh, tend to keep too much, uh, people keep telling me. So, uh, there's a saying. He who saves everything has a lot of trash. Doesn't really translate to English that well, but I'm a prime example. More iron. Nope. What's this? Rubber band. Jeez, everything is held together by rubber bands and springs and... I don't know. Surprised I didn't find a piece of bubble gum. Oh, this here looks interesting and brassy. Oh, what's this? This whole thing is cast. It's quite heavy. Oh, it's one piece. Cast aluminium, I would say. It is quite heavy. Could be Zamak. Don't know why they gave it this brownish color or if it just tarnished that way. Maybe it's a layer of something. I don't know. So yeah, definitely something that was cast. Interesting. I'll uh, look at this later. More of those rubber bands. Finally, some brass.
Maybe you can just wreck this. Oh, that was easy. More iron. Yeah, iron. Now this is magnetic. I'm assuming it's the inner part and not the outer part. How to get this out of here? Probably smash it. Should really get working on uh, the anvil stand so I can use that. The hammering on the floor is not really handy. See what we got here. Same deal here. No, so apparently my SD card was full, so I got rid of some old projects that were still on there that are already on YouTube. And I took the liberty of taking out some uh, screws while you were uh, not watching and uh, got uh, some of the plating off. There we go. And a speaker which comes with a big magnet of course. Uh, now these are not that interesting to take apart. There is a bit of copper in uh, these things, some copper windings. I'm uh, not going to be bothering with that. I'm just going to toss this uh, in with the scrap iron and uh, let's see what else is left in there. So now the boards come off. Uh, aluminium heatsink. I think this plating around here might be brass. These things I think are very old crystals. And uh, these here are... What are they? Not sure, I think they're capacitors. I uh, see another fuse in there. Yes, these say Farad, so that's a capacitor. So low grade board, nothing interesting on there other than the aluminium for me and uh, some of oh, all right. Some of these components might have interesting stuff in them. Uh, most of them I don't actually know because they're really old. There might be some uh, gold-plated contacts in there. Might. Same as for this thing. These slide uh, slider things might have something in there that's interesting. Again, not for me. I'm just going to snip off the wires and get the heatsink off. And then, uh, oh, and the little fuse. And that'll be it for me. And the rest here, uh, this is just iron and there's a, another tiny little board here that has basically nothing on it. Just toss that in with low grade boards if they don't watch what's in there, they don't check what's in there, then uh, 
no problem and the rest is just big block of scrap iron yeah so I'll uh, micro scrap uh, some of this stuff out maybe I'll uh, even try to get uh, everything out of here and then uh, show you uh, what I got uh, when this is all done so everything scrapped out micro scrapped the hell out of this thing and it took quite some time because uh, yeah gill skills uh, just uh, started his live channel and he has andrew from pusa studios as a guest and uh, yeah this is uh, somewhat distracting but uh, yeah i'm uh, I, I always enjoy both their streams and now they're together so that's even more fun um, I'm going to turn this off for now because this is distracting. This uh, happens uh, more often on uh, Sunday. Because then uh, Gil Skills does uh, his uh, earlier streams. And usually I'm still in here fiddling with whatever. Okay, so let's go over what I got out. The main thing actually... Um, let me see if I can do this like this. Might be more interesting. The main thing is uh, the the main uh, um, uh, transformer that's in there, the, because if a machine has uh, rotating parts, then there's usually a, like a motor in there. This is all the copper that I got out. I didn't uh, like unwind it or, or what. Uh, I just uh, cut uh, with my Dremel through the whole thing and basically just got a whole bundle of short bits and try to bundle them up as good as possible there are two uh, windings in there red and orange and uh, yeah this is basically the most interesting part there is some uh i think it's uh, cast aluminium some uh, some small uh, pieces there are some tiny aluminium other bits and like a weird looking aluminium screw and there's one piece of uh, sheet aluminium or extruded. No, I don't think this is extruded. This is probably just folded sheet. A uh, couple of these crystals. I saved the logo. This is, uh, I thought it was plastic, but it's metal. Uh, it's not magnetic, so I'm guessing it's aluminium. This was stuck on there. And I'm going to be keeping this as a little memento because it's the main logo for Grundig. And uh, I kind of like these little things, so I'm keeping that. A tiny bit of brass. Some of these things I had to actually smash open because there was all kinds of stuff in there. And uh, I have my little uh, anvil set over here. Which is a piece of train rail, which I got from a customer that I was visiting uh, at that time. And he basically just gave me this saying, oh, you need an anvil. Yeah, sure. And uh, But where am I going to place the, a, a huge anvil? No, use, uh, use a piece of railroad track. Yeah, where am I going to get that? And then he gave me this. So I will be making a stand for this thing. As you can see, it's uh, quite small. It's about, what, 12 centimeters wide, maybe? Something like that. So uh, what would that be like? four inches maybe five and uh, well this is all the cable that came out I got the plug I'm trying to get these pins out but not really getting anywhere maybe I'll have to melt the whole thing off I'm not sure but not much in ways of cable I just put the all the way over there and uh, here yeah oh, I'm in the light a whole big pile of plastic and well the tapes are in there I'll just dump them in with all the plastic quite a pile of uh, scrap iron and steel stuff and yeah the speaker which I will probably just dump in with the scrap iron uh, yeah the manual and the rubber bands are over there I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with the rubber bands maybe save them could be handy for stuff the manual is just going in with the paper and uh, the the plating uh, was all aluminium uh, it was all stuck on so uh, but uh, yeah it's uh, tiny plates and and edges so not not that much in ways of uh, uh, aluminium 
Well, the the cast aluminium might uh, might amount to uh, to something, and I'm really not sure what this is. It's quite heavy. It could be zinc. I'm not sure. It's a lot heavier in comparison than all this stuff. But we'll see. Yeah, and um, the most interesting is is all the copper. And uh, I would suggest if you get one of those reel-to-reel -reel players, and it's in good condition like the, the one that I had, then I would suggest you uh, you sell it because uh, that's probably more interesting than getting this tiny amount of copper and brass and aluminium from it. Because this is basically scrap iron. I'm not going to be fiddling with this uh, cast aluminium that's on there. Just dump that with the iron there. So let's set this back up here. There we go. Oh, I forgot. I still have the microphone. I haven't uh, gotten this uh, out yet. I'm gonna... Well, it's, it's quite nice. Maybe I think I might actually have a stand for the thing. I think that might have been in with the plastic. I'm going to see if I can get a uh, converter from um, this old connector to one of those standard uh, jack thingies for, for the computer. And maybe check if I'm ever going to be live streaming. If ever, I don't know, you never know. Might be a good microphone. First uh, give it a test. I don't know. And uh, if not, then I'll just cut the cord and throw away the rest. So that was basically it, um, tiny amount of copper, a bundle of uh, aluminium, uh, tiny amount of, uh, of brass, and yeah, the rest is uh, it's not that interesting, couple of circuit boards. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go and uh, clean up and go home and uh, think about my next project. I'll see you on the next one.